This is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com. I am so excited that you're joining me today. I think I'm just about maybe one minute early for the live, so I just wanted to jump on here and welcome everybody. Whether you are watching live or watching a recording, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be fun because this morning, I just got a big box of new Stampin' Up! products. Yay, so excited! And of course, one of the best things about that box is the new catalog. So all demonstrators who are placing a pre-order get a new catalog in their box. And so that's always exciting. Now, I actually got a catalog um, in April at OnStage because I was um, one of the OnStage attendees and we got our catalogs early. So I had one you may have seen. I did a previous video showing you how I spiral bound it. So I've um, already had mine. So excited, but it's always great to have another one because I've been carrying this one from upstairs to downstairs uh, like many times a day. My uh, computer office and shipping and blogging and all of that is downstairs and this is upstairs in my craft room so I've been carrying it up and down all the time so I'm so happy to have one so yay I have so many fun things to show you I actually took everything out of the shipping box because I don't know about you but when I get a big box of product it's like crazy digging through it and trying to figure out what goes with what so I've got everything organized so that hopefully this will go really smooth and will be kind of quick for you to see all of the new products all right so one thing I wanted to show two things I think I wanted to show you that I had been mentioning on my Facebook page and people had been commenting so I just thought let me show you these two things really quick this was the little box that I showed mm, was it on the weekend or last week and it's just pre die cut shapes the stitched shape framelits are something that I use a ton of. I, I put them on so many cards. And so I have this box with pre-cut sizes that I use a lot. So uh, that's just something I had shared and I had extra die cut of the Adirondack chairs and I thought this was just handy. So I have this on my desk. It was just an idea and I know that a few of you had asked about that. So I just wanted to show that real quickly as an idea for you. Um, even if you have little spare parts and whatnot, put them in little cello bags and keep them all organized so that you can grab them and use them later. And the other thing I wanted to show you, I, oh gosh, I don't know. I guess I, I'll just take the little drawer out. <laughs> so right next to me, <laughs> what I wanted to show you was my sponge daubers. I had posted a picture of how I have them with the little labels on them from my brother P-Touch labeler. And everybody was saying, oh, but how do you have your sponge daubers organized? I'm like, yeah, they're really not organized. They're just dumped in a bin. That's how I have them. That works for me. And they're right here next to me. So that's just um, how I use them. <laughs> okay, so let's get going on to the new product. So. A couple of the things you're going to find in the new Stampin' Up! catalog are all the new colors that we've been talking about. Lots of new colors. I think it's 16 new colors. And you can see back here, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. I have decided to arrange my cardstock and my ink pads this year in rainbow order instead of Stampin' Up! family order. I know it's a little bit scary because after like 10 years of having them in color families, I'm switching it up, but I already love it. I just love to say like, okay, there's all the blues, which blue do I want or pinks or reds or orange, whatever. I love it already. So I'm really excited about that. But amongst that, you're going to see some slots that are pretty empty and that's because they're brand new colors and we only got a couple of sheets ahead of time. Um, Gosh, I don't even think, yeah, we must have gotten at least a couple sheets of every color because I think there's at least something in every slot, but some of those are pretty skimpy. So I have a huge pile over here of the new cardstock to show you. But one thing that Stampin' Up! is offering is all of the new colors of markers in a set. 
So you don't have to buy the whole box of markers just to get the new colors. And you don't have to hunt through the list and write down every number for new colors. You write one number and you get the whole set. Ta-da! And the funny thing was, I was unpacking my box this morning and I thought I didn't get the markers because I expected to have all of these loose markers in the box. And I'm like, oh, they didn't put them in my box. I didn't get my markers. I was all sad. <laughs> and this was upside down like this in the box. And I was like, oh, what's that? And I flipped it over. I'm like, ah! <laughs> So funny. So anyway, if you order this, this is what you can look for in your box. They're all in beautiful rainbow order. Those are all the new colors. Love that. So I am so looking forward to putting these in my marker holder, but I wanted to show you this first so that, uh, that you would know that that's how they're going to come. And I think it's page 182. Yes, page 182 in the catalog, if you have a catalog, is where you're going to find this, as well as all of the new ink pad colors are all bundled up together. Ta-da! How beautiful is that? So, again, you don't have to hunt through all the numbers to find just the new ones. Yes, yes, it's one item number for all the ink pads a different item number for all the markers, and then you can also get um, all of the cardstock in a pack, the new colors. Let me just look, I gotta make sure that you can't see this because I can't show the catalog yet, but let me just look before I tell you for sure. So the cardstock, it's 32 sheets in the pack, one ordering code, and it's two each of all 16 new colors. So that's wonderful because again, you don't have to hunt through and find all the numbers of the new product. You can just do those one numbers. Those one numbers, that one number. <laughs> I'm so excited, can you tell? That was embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you get it, right? So, oh, Linda is asking if the new catalogs are available. So demonstrators were able to order their catalogs yesterday. I ordered my catalogs yesterday for my customers. So if you have a demonstrator, ask your demonstrator for a catalog. If you don't have a demonstrator, mm -hmm. I would be happy to send you one and be your demonstrator and you can order through me. So leave me a comment or private message me if you don't already have a demonstrator that you work with. If you're a demonstrator, all you have to do is place an order up until May 12th and you'll get one of these new catalogs in your order and you can also order boxes of them if you need to. So, okay. So that's the new, the markers, the ink pads, and the cardstock. So that's how you can get them in the assortment packs with one ordering code per item, which is amazing. I love that. So yay, Stampin' Up! That That is so awesome. Now I should say that does not include the in colors. So in this um, assortment, you're gonna also need to order separately the new in color markers. And when you do that, then you'll have the 16 new colors plus the five new in colors. So um, I should probably have said that before, but same would go with the cardstock and the ink pads. You would need to or order those separately if you want the new in colors as well as the 16 new colors, okay? So now, should we look at some fun new products? Yay! Okay, let me just show you. This is the coolest thing. I wasn't sure if I actually needed these, but they are, it's a new alphabet stamp set and die set. And these are really, really interesting. You'll notice that the shape of these is really odd, really different. So there is a great Stampin' Up! video that will be public on YouTube on June 1st that will show you this really unique way that you can use this die. But what I did with, with it on the weekend, I needed to make two baby cards. And so I made these, and I know it's backwards because that's just what Facebook Live does, but um, I just die cut, I stamped the letters on the floral paper and then I die cut them with those dies. And it's just so cute with that. Isn't that adorable? And it also features the new animal outing set. This was a free gift at On Stage for Demonstrators. So 
That's what I did with that, with a little kangaroo and the baby in the pouch. I thought that was cute. Hope you like that. So that was that. And then let me show you some more new things. So this came this morning. And this is called Stitched All Around. And these dies are amazing. So it's the Stitched Label Framelits and stitched all around. I'm sorry, I know the words are backwards, but you'll just have to pretend that they're just beautiful and, and you'll see them in the catalog. But these are so pretty because they have these little stitching marks all around. I cannot wait to die cut this. This, I think, is going to be first on my what I have to use of the stuff that came today. Love that. Look at this background stamp. Look at that fun cursive writing. I love it. I don't even know. Oh, it does say actual things. I wasn't sure if it did. So it's different languages since we, since Stampin' Up! is in th um, 10 countries. And so it's happy, merci, welcome in, uh, hello, inspire, create, share, courage, love. So a lot, and I'm not going to try to pronounce some of the other ones because, yeah, I couldn't. But but I love this. I think that's super cute. That's going to make a fun background. And it's also, I believe, let's look. I think it's the same pattern. Oh, it's a knot. I was thinking it was like this. This is in the Share What You Love. It's, it's a little different, but it's sort of that same fun, scripty kind of a font look. So, okay. Close. I was close. Okay, this. Oh, I am so excited about this. I think this is going to be number two on my list to play with. So this is called the Garden Scene Framelits. And this beautiful corner image here, it partially embosses and partially cuts. And it goes with the stamp set. I cannot wait to start creating with this. So this is called Serene Garden. Love this. Love, love, love. Can't wait to play with that. You know me. Garden girl, flower girl, birds, backyard nature, you know. Well, speaking of that, have to have another flower set, right? So this is called Springtime Impressions. Oh, like my heart is racing. This is so gorgeous. This is a big corner floral image. And then the butterfly and the little flower are separate. Hang on, let me just... Okay, so there's the butterfly. So here it is compared to my hand. Pretty big. It's beautiful. And I think, let me grab this. It's This is a bigger version. They had these on the table at center stage. But I think it's the same butterfly. So just wanted to show you that. And the stamp set that it goes with is called Abstract Impressions. So that would be a three-step stamp set with that flower. So you do it in three colors, like three shades of pink, three shades of lavender, whatever. And so that would be really pretty. So those two are a bundle. And this one I've had a little bit because it was one of the items we could pre-order with on stage, detailed with love, and it coordinates with this punch, which is really cool. Let me punch a piece of cardstock real quick so you can see what it does. So it will make that little corner detail. You can also round corners and you can also round the corner that you punch that little detail with. What you can also do, let me just get that kind of centered, is you can punch a little hole like this for your ribbon. I don't know if that's trying to find the focus. There we go. So it also does that. So it does three different things on this one punch. And you can get that in a bundle or you can do them separately. So totally up to you with that. One of the other things in that suite is 
these note cards. There's four different designs. I just want to get all four to show you. So they are pre-printed and they look like a watercolor wash. Really pretty. You might have noticed, you maybe didn't, but I actually used them in the background of the baby card. That mint macaron um, wash. And then I have, I was panicking because I couldn't find my box of cards. I finally just found them. So I also used one in the background of this and that detailed laser cut paper is part of this suite as well. And then there's another one with two different pieces of that detailed laser paper with that card in the background. And this one has that card in the background as well with another piece of that detailed laser cut paper. So lots of ways that you can use that. I'm really loving this suite, just beauteous. Okay, then Rooted in Nature, this is something that I've had a little while because I ordered it when I went to on stage. So it's a two part, two package set. And it is meant to go with the Lovely as a Tree, which I think is something that's been in the catalog like the longest of anything, which is beautiful. And it has these gorgeous dies to go with it. And one thing that's very cool is this one and this one emboss. And then you can use this and this to actually cut them out if you want to. Let me see, I have one here. I don't know if this is gonna show. Oh, it kinda does. Let me see if that'll focus. Where's the focus? Mm, there. Okay, so do you see that? So it's embossed and then it's die cut with this one right here. So very cool. I, I really love this. This is going to be super amazing to play with. Okay, detail or varied vases. I, I've, I'm, excuse me, I've shown this before. And I don't know if you saw that one, but it's just gorgeous. So fun to play with. And this was designed by Mary Fish. She was a million dollar achiever. So when you sell a million dollars with Stampin' Up, then you get to design a stamp set. So she did that and I have a stamp. Oh, uh oh, where'd my, oh yeah. There's one, two. Okay, thought I had more. Well, anyway, so that's one of the samples I did with the vase. And then the flowers are from a different set, so I combined. And then this one is a, the tulips, which that is kind of Mary's signature on her website. So did that with her bundle. Love that. Oh, and so speaking of, so that flower, oh, and, and the butterfly that was on this one, they are in this set, and it's called Painted Glass. And I know I'm going really quick. This is just a fast overview of everything. So th these will all be on my blog soon. There will be lots of information. There'll be videos. You know, we have a whole year to work with all of this. So don't panic. I know I'm going quickly. But but this is a, like a, a stained glass look. And it makes me think of all the gorgeous cathedrals in Europe with all the beautiful stained glass. And you can either stamp or you can die cut or... You can use this amazing mm -hmm. paper. Look at this vellum. Is this gorgeous? This is called Graceful Glass, and it's all pre-printed, and you can color it. You can leave it blank. You can sponge mm -hmm. it. You can use blends. You can use markers. You could use um, pencils, watercolor pencils blender pens, whatever color medium you love. So that is just an amazing suite. I love that. And I did forget to show you this with the, um, was that called Rooted in Nature? I was going to show you the paper. I've got it cut down to six by six, but it is 12 by 12 paper. And so this is the the beautiful pattern variations and the colors that you get in that pack. So again, it is 12 by 12, but very beautiful. And that is called Nature's Poem. 
Okay. Speaking of designer paper, let's look at this. Uh, oh, hang on, I gotta get scissors. I haven't opened this yet. It just came this morning and I'm super excited. It is called Garden Impressions. Okay, so it goes with th this. Okay, it goes with this. So let's look at these patterns together because I haven't even seen this yet. Okay, so there are four sheets of each one. So let's just look through. How beautiful. These are definitely patty patterns. <laughs> I hope that, I hope the beautiful colors and everything are coming across on camera because these are just beautiful. I'm looking at one side, you're looking at the other. <laughs> So pretty. Okay, and then other side, let me just quickly fan this out. I won't go through every single one, but but we'll just do this so you can just sort of see some of these really cool abstract florals on here that'll make really nice soft backgrounds. I could see stamping on that and then maybe cutting out or die cutting. Um, Lots of possibilities with those other patterns. Those are beautiful. So excited to have that. And then speaking of designer paper, another six by six. This is going to be offered in um, all 10 in colors and all of the color families. And so it's four different patterns and then all of the colors. So these are the new in colors. So we have Grapefruit Grove, we have Pineapple Punch, Lovely Lipstick, Call Me Clover, and Blueberry Bushel, and then different patterns on the other side. So these will be in all of the color families. And this would be, I think, this would be fun to have one of every color family, and then you start using these as all your backgrounds as you're getting used to colors and as you're getting used to layering different colors together uh, or using colors together. Um, I also watched a Facebook Live yesterday uh, and they had the cutest idea and it, they were just taking color swatches and laying them together and seeing what goes together. So that's another thing you could do with something like this, where you could just start laying colors together to see what goes. So lots of ways to play with our new colors. Okay, back to this. So Lily Pad Lake is a new stamp set with this beautiful swan, and there are boats and water and, not, not a swan, a crane. That's a crane, right? Yeah, and a lily pad, and the sun and the greetings. I have seen some amazing things with this bundle, so whoop, can't wait to play with that. This is another new bundle, Sitting Pretty and Pretty Park. Look how fun this is. Look at those two benches. So you have a park bench and then you have a fancy bench, like a wrought iron bench and the plant and the bulldog and the squirrel and the bird. Aside from the dog, it looks like our backyard. So I can't wait to use that. And then you probably have seen the Share What You Love bundle. That came out as a customer pre-order for this month. So there are these three stamp sets, depending on which bundle that you select. There are also ink pads and this paper. I've done a whole video on that, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but I just wanted to remind you that customers can pre-order that this month. And the individual items are in the new catalog, but they are not bundled together. There is not, uh, you don't have the free items that you get right now with the pre-order. So depending on which bundle you order in May, you get one, two, or three free items. So just so you know, you can wait and you can buy these things in the new catalog, but you won't get the advantage of the one number bundle and you won't get the free items. So that was that. 
Tranquil Textures is also a new paper. Beautiful pieces. And I think I've already, did I already use one or is this all of them? I think that's all of them. And I didn't actually get the bundle that goes with this. I don't like the octopus. Sorry. It just don't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't have the bundle that goes with that. But that's okay. I have a lot to play with. I've got a lot I can play with here. So a couple of other things. Let's look at this. We got to use this at um, on stage. And this is called Simply Chamois. And it is uh, a pad. It's a foam pad. You see, it's just a little bit of thickness. Like, not quite a quarter inch, I don't think. Almost. And it's pre-moistened in there. But what you'll do is when you're ready to clean your stamps or your stamparatus, you can grab this and you can clean your stamps with it. Love this. <laughs> Susan, that's cute. She says, are you afraid the octopus will put his arms around you? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think the octopus. I'm, I don't know. I just don't. I have seen some beautiful samples with it. But um, there's enough other things that I'm going to be happy playing with. <laughs> anyway, the chamois. So you can leave this on your desk and just when you have your stamp that needs cleaning, you can just clean your stamp like that on it. Or you can just take it and rub it onto a stamp or onto your um, stamp apparatus or whatever to clean. And you'll probably need to moisten this with water each time because it will dry. Do you remember... Well, okay, I remember when I was young, my dad would have this big chamois cloth that he would get out when he would wash the cars. And it would dry, it would shrivel up, you know, in this weird position between car washes. But then you just wet it and it becomes nice and soft. So that's, I think, kind of what this is like as well. So really excited for that. And this I'm super excited for. So big shot embossing mats. Let's open this and look at these. And since you can't see my catalog, I'm going to read you the description or maybe the descriptions in here. Well, what do you know? Okay. So this has, I wanted to see if it listed the actual three products. Okay. Let me read it out of the catalog because it's going to make more sense to you if I can read it right here to you. All right. No, you can't see this. Okay. So this is called Big Shot Embossing Mats. It says your, your favorite framelits, thinlets, and edgelet dies can do more when paired with the embossing mats. Use with dies that have decorative ejection holes for additional embossing or use with your cutting dies to emboss instead of cut. So this includes the impressions pad, a thin silicone rubber mat, and a thick silicone rubber mat. So let's see if we can figure this out. Yep. So here's a thin silicone rubber mat. Here's a thick silicone rubber mat. And this must be the impression pad. So there are instructions in the catalog of how to use different layers, and there's also complete instructions right here about how to use these, and you can make any of your framelits just make an embossed impression. So you know I'll be making samples with this, and I'll have this um, on my blog and, and on another Facebook, but I'm excited about this. So... Um, Steffi is saying, did you see paper impressions garden? Do you mean, I'm not sure if she means this. We went through this paper. I'm not sure, but yes, if you can watch the replay and you can see I've gone through all of the new products. So hopefully you'll see that if you watch the replay. These are beautiful. So these, oh, okay. Didn't know that would happen. <laughs> Copper and silver leaves in two different shapes and sizes. Beautiful. Those will coordinate with lots of things. These beautiful little jewels. Oh my goodness, how pretty are those? Love those. Ah, hang on. Got to retrieve them. 
They're so pretty. I love these. Love those. Those are going to be so fun to use. And then let's look at some of the new ribbons. So there is this adorable little um, in color. Hang on, let me get the right name. It's one eighth inch grow grain ribbon in the in colors. And I forgot the yellow one. So that was on my next order. It's coming another day. Oops, that was silly. But let's open one and see. nice and soft really cute cute ribbon fun in colors and there is this velvet ribbon in let me get the rich razzleberry so velvety beautiful soft ribbon in rich razzleberry I love this this will be in white and vanilla and you can dye it so this is the polka dot ribbon at on stage, Shelly and Sarah gave us a really good tip about dyeing the ribbon. They just took a little sandwich Ziploc bag and they put some drops of reinker in it with a, a length, like maybe a yard or so of the ribbon. And you zip up the Ziploc and then you just kind of smush it around. And that gets the ink on the ribbon. And then you can pull the ribbon out and just put it on paper towels or um, newspaper. Well, maybe not newspaper, but paper towels, that'd probably be good, <laughs> and let it dry, and then it's dyed. So you can also use your Stampin' Blends. I've done videos on that, but uh, lots of ways that you could sponge or spritz color onto the white ribbon. And then this ribbon is called Metallic Ribbon Combo mm -hmm. Pack. Let's look at this. Ooh, these. I think I have to open these to fully show you. So there's two widths and two colors. Oh, this is pretty. It's shimmery. Mm, hope that's showing up. It's shimmery and it's pink and it's beautiful. And then the other one is, I think this is Tranquil Tide. And so that's a skinnier one. So you have a thicker one and a thinner one of shimmer ribbon. So that's beautiful. Okay, I just want to make sure I've shown you. There's lots of other new things. When I got my first pre-order after OnStage, I used a bunch of stuff and I already got it put away. So I didn't pull all of that out since we've gone over some of that product before. But I do have all the new colors of cardstock right here. So I just thought we'd go through those real quick. This makes me so happy. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. <laughs> so that's one of all of the new colors of cardstock. So let's flip through these. So granite gray, a nice neutral gray color. Petal pink, very soft. It's a good replacement for Blushing Bride if you're... Wait, do we still have Blushing Bride? Hang on, I have to look. Oh, we still have Blushing Bride, which is the one that went away. Oh, Pretty in Pink. Good replacement for that. Sorry, I'm still learning these colors. Perhaps I should refer to my cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, Pineapple Punch. So this is one of the um, in colors. Mango Melody. So I just thought I'd do these sort of in color groups here. Grapefruit Grove. So if you wanted to go 70s, there you go. There's your color palette right there. So then let's look at the new reds. Lovely Lipstick is uh, in color. Oh, thank you. Pink Pirouette. That's what I was trying to think of. Thank you. And then Poppy Parade. So you can really see the difference there. One is more orange and one is more pink. Love these two colors, by the way. And then Mary Merlot. Now this, I in person, it almost is a little more purple than I think it's showing up on the screen. So I almost didn't know whether to put this with purples or with reds. But I do think it's technically a red because Merlot wine is 
a red wine, right? I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't know. I don't drink wine. So pff, what do I know? Don't listen to me. <laughs> okay, blueberry bushel. So that's a new in color. So now we'll do blues. And then let's do balmy blue next because that's going to be a cute combo. Nice and fun and bright. And then coastal cabana. Now this you might remember. We had coastal cabana years ago. And it came back because it's really popular. So that's going to be a beautiful blue green. And then let's do the new purples. So Highland Heather. Gorgeous Grape. And then Blackberry Bliss is another one that's back. I'm just trying to catch the light so that you can kind of see. That's a pretty good representation right there. So the three new lavenders, lots of people asking for purples and lavenders. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Let's do the greens. So soft sea foam. This reminds me a bit of pistachio pudding. If you've been around a long time like I have, you might remember pistachio pudding. So that's a very light, um, light green, very light. And then granny apple green. So if you are a lover of um, lemon lime twist, you're going to love this one because they're going to go really cool together. And call me clover. This is the new in color. Green. And one more green. Actually, two more. Shaded spruce. So there's that. Let's take a couple away. Shaded spruce. And then Mossy Meadow is returning. So if you are mourning the loss of Always Artichoke, Mossy Meadow is going to be a fabulous replacement for you. Yeah. So I know Blackberry Bliss and Coastal Cabana. So glad those colors are back. I agree with you. So two more things I want to show you. Something that um, helps me to stay organized and I hope that you'll enjoy this. So let me grab this. All right, so you may remember uh, back in, was it March, I think? I was asked to help with the stamp and storage pop-up sale here in the Bay Area. And one thing I got to see in person that I absolutely fell in love with, because I think this is just brilliant, are these trays that they have for their drawers. They have storage units like this that have pull-out drawers. And so on the drawers, you can put trays. And look what I did with one of mine. I put my Stampin' Spots in it, and it is perfect. So now what I need to do is to get the storage box, or the storage unit that has the drawers so I can put this in it. Or for now, I've just cut it stacked up on top of there because I didn't have the drawer. But I thought this was perfect. It fits them absolutely perfectly. And you can do them in color families or rainbow order or whatever you want to do. And you can get spots, by the way. You might be saying, wait, wait, we don't sell Stampin' Spots. So they're in the monthly paper pumpkin kits. And you can also buy the uninked spots and use your ink refills to ink them. So some of these that have the circles, those are the ones I have inked and I just punch a circle of the cardstock and there you can see, I just write on it and I say what color it is. And then, so that's how I'm building up my um, assortment. So yeah, I just thought I'd do, I will put the link to that um, in the description above as soon as I get off of this live so that if you need those, um, from Stampin' Storage, Geneva, Stampin' Storage. I'll put the link to that up above so that you can see that. So speaking of Stampin' Storage, the other thing I did, like I said, was arrange in rainbow order. And since I still don't even know all of the new Stampin' Up! colors, which I just demonstrated for you, <laughs> what I got from them are these dividers. So they're slightly larger than the cardstock. So they have them both for eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12. And then I printed the Stampin' Up! labels, which I've had on my blog. And if you're a demonstrator, you can get them on the website. I printed the labels with the color name. So do you see how it sticks out here? 
so that when this is in your slot, then you can see all of these labels. So that might be a little hard to see from there, but I have posted pictures of this on my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen that, I'll be doing a blog post really soon with pictures of that. But I just thought you might want to see those organization tips because these are just things that help for me for everything to run smoother in here. And I can just, you know, grab what I need and it's all um, just, you know, it's all right at my fingertips. So that list is from Stampin' Up. The list of colors is from Stampin' Up. Um, oh, here I have one. So it's a sheet that looks like this, and you mm -hmm. print it on the Avery labels that have 80 to a sheet, so it's four columns of 20. And it's the download has been on my blog. You can scroll back a few days and find the free download. If you're a demonstrator, you can get that right from the Stampin' Up! website. Whoa! So, okay, I did it! So those were the new things and the new goodies, and I have a couple more orders coming, but those were all of the things that came either from on stage or that came this morning. So I just thought I would share them all with you. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you needed a catalog and you don't already have a demonstrator, let me know. I'll send them to you in a week or so when they arrive here. And if you have a demonstrator that you work with, please go ahead and ask them for your catalog. So I'm excited. This catalog is super awesome. It is amazing. Really one of the best in many years. And very excited about it. So I hope you are too. And I appreciate you joining me, spending a little time with me. Let me know if you have any questions and I will chat with y'all next week. Okay. Bye.